today T1 Faker quits playing because of NA Champions queue. Basically only the best players in NA and pro players are allowed to play. Of course content creators and streamers will also have access to cover the game but let's focus on the reason why Faker hates it. Faker is being grieved and entered by random players that didn't deserve to enter the Champions queue in the first place. From random one tricks to university players, keep in mind that one tricks should not be in the same category as a professional esport level player. Skilled gameplay and diversity in champions is required so technically they should not be allowed to enter. Players like Nemesis, Kdrill, Cat Evolved, Ama Cutie Pie, Sanchoves and many more that apply to enter got rejected instead for unknown reasons. They didn't let me in the champions queue. No way dude, aren't you a challenger in EU? They said our current requirement is that players traveling to the states need to be on an active roster for by the way, these are the players that should get the invitation, known and credentialed skilled player. The champion's queue is popular because of worlds, so when worlds end, it will simply die out, plain and simple. So Riot should just allow popular high elo players to get in and promote it even more, or make it like a permanent thing for only the top 50 or 100 players to get in. This should create a high competition level and motivates the top 500 player to grind to enter this queue. Viewers will also want to watch a high level gameplay. It's good for business. Right now, you wonder if Faker will even play the champion's queue without his team anymore. It's not good for practice playing versus damn players. I'm sure Riot and the players wants to see high level skilled gameplay during Worlds. Do you think Faker quitting Champions queue is reasonable? Subscribe for daily bangers, it's free and you can unsub anytime you want. Stay wild, love you all, goodbye.